is uh, monitoring PBOT and how things are going with preparation for the road and the weather conditions. Yes, that's right, Carly. So state and city officials have been making sure that they have everything on hand just in case that snow did stick. But of course, I'm sure you already got the news that we didn't get any snow in the metro area and traffic is moving along just fine this morning along 26. But crews do have de-icer. They have sand and plows ready too. So the main thing is, is they just have to figure out what is the best tools to use this morning and then maybe later this week if we do see some of that snow. So all of this decision making process pretty much depends on when that snow arrives and what leads up to it. For example, you know, overnight we saw it was raining on and off and we do have wet roads right now. So that means it's more likely that salt's the best fit to keep the roads from getting too slick. Um, but there's also the question of how much snow we get, if any, this week. So there are drivers available to man those plows on city streets and highways. But if we get less than a half an inch of snow, which, you know, might be the case, then they're just not effective. So even with transportation crews available, it's going to be conditions that drivers just need to be prepared for this week and crews will be feeling it out as the precipitation approaches and as it gathers on the ground. So we also have another cool tool for you. PBOT just created an interactive website where you can check out plow activity and routes in real time and the site explains which roads are a priority for plows so that way you can kind of figure out if your route to work is clear. So that's a pretty neat tool. And then you also may remember that the city of Portland announced back in November that they were going to be pretty aggressive with salt this year if we saw any snow in the city. Now they really haven't had to use it because our season has been pretty mild, but this week they may get out there and start using that salt just to keep everybody safe on the roadway. So we're going to continue to monitor the conditions and we'll bring you any updates from Peabody or TriMet. But for now reporting live in Southwest Portland, Elise Haas, Point 6 News.